Imagine a celestial object unlike anything we've ever seen hurling through the vast void of space at three times the speed of the Jabber Comet in the solar system. This is not a figment of science fiction but a mysterious visitor, Amua, that entered our solar system in 2017. This mysterious object is unique in that it's the first interstellar object ever discovered in our solar system, in honor of which it was named Umuamua, a messenger from afar who arrived first in Hawaiian. In a short time, it's baffled astronomers and spawn theories ranging from it being just an asteroid to an alien spacecraft. Umuamua was 15 million miles from Earth, about two times the distance from Earth to the Moon. What baffled scientists was its speed. As it zipped around the Sun, its rate increased, which defies the laws of celestial mechanics. Could it be propelled by some unknown form of cosmic radiation? Or is it a comet emitting gases in a way we've never seen before? In a universe governed by laws and equations, Oumuamua is a cosmic enigma in the shape of a rock about 650 feet long. On October 2017, in the quiet of space far from the bustling activity of our blue planet, a telescope in Hawaii picked up a faint flicker. This was no ordinary celestial body. It was Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object to visit our solar system. The PanStars-1 telescope perched atop the dormant Haleakala volcano captured something unusual. The very name Oumuamua, meaning a messenger from afar, first in Hawaiian, reflects the significance of this discovery. Unlike asteroids and comets born under the gravity of our sun, Oumuamua was a wanderer from deep interstellar space. Its trajectory indicated that it was not bound by the sun's gravity, making it a transient visitor to our system. What sets Oumuamua apart is not only its origin but also its special characteristics. Its cigar shape and its rapid rotation don't fit the norms of typical objects in the solar system. The scientific community is buzzing with theories and debates about the nature of Oumuamua. Is it a comet without a tail? an asteroid with an unusual rotation, or something completely different? These questions have sparked rigorous scientific research leading to a variety of hypotheses. From it being a fragment of a larger celestial body to even more extreme theories, such as it being an alien probe. The discovery of Oumuamua is a milestone in astronomy, similar to when people first looked through a telescope and realized that Earth is not the center of the universe. It sheds light on the formation of the solar system and reminds us that our solar system is only a tiny part of a vast, unexplored frontier. As Oumuamua moves farther away, a faint speck in the cosmic sea, the need to study it grows. Hopefully, in the future, more powerful telescopes will capture more information about these interstellar messengers, offering new clues about the composition and history of the universe. The mystery of Oumuamua's true nature has puzzled astronomers since its discovery. Originally classified as a comet, it had none of the typical cometary features such as a coma or tail. For this reason, it was reclassified as an asteroid due to its lack of a visible coma. However, it is not just any asteroid. It is an elongated, cigar-shaped object unlike any asteroid we've seen before. Its unique shape has led to speculations, including the possibility that it's an alien spacecraft. Scientific papers describe the physical characteristics of Oumuamua in more detail. They mention that the object is tumbling rather than rotating, which is unusual for both asteroids and comets. This tumbling motion could be the result of a collision with another planet, but this state is purely speculative at this point. The trajectory of Oumuamua presents another mystery. It entered our solar system at a very high speed and traveled on a hyperbolic trajectory, which means it will never return. Most objects captured by a star's gravity go into an elliptical orbit, but not Oumuamua. To scientists, its trajectory was influenced by non-gravitational forces, possibly due to the release of materials from rapid vaporization. However, no such gas releases were visually observed, which adds to the mystery. The lack of a visible coma and the high speed have led to various theories. Some suggest it could be a fragment of a larger object that crashed. Others believe it could be a new class of object rather than a comet or asteroid. Some even discuss the idea that Oumuamua is a solar sail driven by radiation pressure. It's also believed that the object's high speed could make it a visitor from another star system, perhaps ejected by a planetary system forming around a young star. 
This could make Oumuamua one of the first observed interstellar objects, a visitor from another part of the galaxy. The story of Oumuamua is a space detective story where each clue only deepens the mystery. Its elongated shape is unlike anything seen in the solar system. Could this unique form factor offer advantages for interstellar travel, such as reduced drag or increased stability? Or is it the result of some catastrophic event that we cannot yet fathom? Its mystery adds another layer to the puzzle. The lack of a visible coma and tail rules out the possibility that outgassing influenced its path. So, what non-gravitational forces are at work here? Could it be influenced by dark matter or some other unknown cosmic phenomenon? The theories about Umuamua range from the plausible to the fantastic. Could it be a harbinger, a messenger from another star system? The possibility that it's a solar sail is particularly intriguing. If proven, it could revolutionize our understanding of space travel, opening up the possibility of radiation-propelled journeys between stars. When investigating celestial objects like Oumuamua, astronomers rely on a variety of tools. The investigation into its nature was led by a team of researchers, including Jennifer Bergner, a chemist at the University of California, Berkeley. Bergner and her colleague Daryl Seligman, an astronomer at Cornell University, were at the forefront of unraveling the object's mysteries. Their work, published in the journal Nature, is considered the most convincing model of Oumuamua according to Marco Michele, an astronomer at the European Space Agency. Observations were supported by NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes, which found that Oumuamua had a strangely elongated, cigar-like shape and accelerated slightly as it left the solar system. This acceleration is commonly seen in comets when they're repelled by the material they emit. However, Oumuamua showed no such ejection or any visible coma of dust and gas, which we would expect of a comet. The team used modeling to show that Oumuamua could have originated as a normal water comet orbiting a distant star before being ejected outside the system. High-energy cosmic rays could have converted up to 30% of the comet's water ice into hydrogen, which could have been trapped in Oumuamua's ice as it traveled through interstellar space. As it approached the sun, the trapped hydrogen should have been released, giving the object the observed increase in velocity. According to Seligman, the team's model explains every strange aspect of Oumuamua. It suggests that Oumuamua was indeed a comet, but an unusual one. The lack of a visible coma or tail can be explained by the fact that molecular hydrogen is much less massive than the materials ejected by typical comets and therefore does not entrain much dust. While Bergner and Seligman's theory is convincing, it's worth noting that not everyone in the scientific community is convinced. Karen Meech, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, still believes that the conventional view of Oumuamua as a comet could be accurate. She suggests that Oumuamua could simply have a small amount of dust, which would also explain the lack of a visible coma or tail. Another popular idea that Oumuamua could be an alien probe has captured the public's imagination. Its elongated shape and unusual trajectory led to speculation that it could be an artificial object. This theory gained traction when Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist at Harvard, suggested that Oumuamua could be a thin, flat, almost rectangular piece of material that could be a probe sent by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. The idea of Oumuamua being an alien probe made headlines but has not stood up to scientific criticism. First, if Oumuamua were a probe, it would likely have emitted some form of radiation or signals that have not been detected. Secondly, its tumbling motion is not consistent with what one would expect from a probe designed to move steadily or collect data. The object's trajectory can be explained by natural phenomena, as discussed in the previous chapter. The theory proposed by Jennifer Bergner and Daryl Seligman, which suggests that Oumuamua is a hydrogen-rich comet, explains its unique characteristics and does not require extraterrestrial intervention. The idea that Oumuamua could be an alien probe reflects our collective fascination with the unknown and the possibility of intelligent life beyond Earth. However, it also serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of speculative theories. While interesting, they can divert attention away from more plausible explanations. Although Oumuamua's unique characteristics have puzzled astronomers, the most plausible explanation is that it is an exotic type of comet or asteroid, 
Its long journey through interstellar space probably altered its composition, forming a crust that held most of the frozen gas inside. This theory explains Umuamua's characteristics and is supported by observations by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. The discovery of Umuamua has important implications for our understanding of celestial objects. It suggests that trillions of such objects may be passing through our solar system, and we've only just begun to study them. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope in Chile is expected to receive its first engineering camera light in December 2023 with full-fledged survey operations expected to begin in October 2024. Once operational, it will potentially detect more objects like Umuamua. It is planned that the data will be fully publicly available, opening up new possibilities for understanding these enigmatic interstellar visitors. Beyond telescopes, advances in propulsion technology and data analysis may allow us to intercept and study these objects more closely. Imagine a future where we could send a probe to rendezvous with an interstellar object, collect samples, and send back data in real time. The European Comet Interceptor mission was recently approved. The mission represents a significant leap in our ability to study interstellar objects like Oumuamua. Unlike previous missions designed to study objects inside our solar system, the Comet Interceptor is designed to collect data on objects from outside. The mission is led by ESA with support from the Japanese space agency, JAXA. The project aims to target a comet that has spent little time in the inner solar system and may be visiting for the first time. The spacecraft will consist of a main unit and two probes designed to observe the comet from different angles and create a three-dimensional profile of its yet to be discovered. The mission is expected to be launched in 2029 and will travel to space with ESA's Aerial Exoplanet Scout. Once in space, the Comet Interceptor will wait for a suitable target at the point of L2 Lagrange, a location 1.5 million kilometers behind Earth when viewed from the Sun, waiting for the next interstellar object to pass through our solar system. Once such an object is detected, the spacecraft will adjust its trajectory to make a close flyby, capturing high-resolution images and collecting data on its composition, structure, and even origin. The discovery of Oumuamua opened a new chapter in astronomy. How common are such hydrogen-rich objects in the universe? Could there be other interstellar objects with different shapes and behaviors? Most importantly, how can we better prepare to study these objects in the future? This serves as a harbinger of future discoveries, urging us to prepare for new interstellar visitors that may be just as mysterious, if not more so.